Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So, as of late, many of the anti-vegans and carnivore diet people of the world have been quite upset at this one recently published study, which comes to a conclusion that they particularly don't like. And the study looked at the dietary patterns of thousands of people across the United States and came to the conclusion that those who ate the highest levels of cholesterol and eggs were at increased risk of dying of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular disease. So let's take a quick look at a few key points points from the study to show you what I'm talking about. So this chart here plots out how much dietary cholesterol consumed per day affects your risk for cardiovascular disease. So on the far left at zero, we're looking at the bottom axis here, that's the lowest amounts of cholesterol consumed per day, about zero, it probably had a few vegans in there I'm guessing. Anyway, and it goes all the way up to over a thousand milligrams per day. And as you see, as you increase the amount of cholesterol you consume per day, your risk of cardiovascular disease increases. And looking at all-cause mortality, it's pretty much the same story. As you increase your dietary cholesterol in milligrams per day, your hazard ratio of dying of all-cause mortality increases. So that was for total cholesterol consumed in a day. Well, the study also looked at how many eggs were consumed in a day. And again, let's look at the graphs, and it's pretty much the same thing. As you increase the amount of eggs consumed per day, you have an increased risk of dying of cardiovascular disease. And likewise, all-cause mortality increases as you increase your egg consumption. So in the researchers' own words, they conclude that among U.S. adults, higher consumption of dietary cholesterol or eggs was significantly associated with higher risk of incident of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. These results should be considered in the development of dietary guidelines and updates. So it's probably that last sentence there that got some of these anti-vegans and pro-carnivore diet people upset. They don't want to hear the government trying to convince people that eating high levels of cholesterol and eggs are bad and that should be reflected in the United States dietary guidelines. And of course, pro-carnivore former doctor Sean Baker had to respond and try to debunk this. Worried about the latest eggs are bad for you study? Japan eats more eggs per capita than anywhere else on earth. They also live amongst the longest. The idiots that keep pumping out garbage epidemiology in order to prop up processed food sales are not fooling anyone anymore. People are waking up. Results count for more than speculation. So yeah, there you go. This study is completely debunked. Japan eats more eggs than we do per capita. They have less incidence of cardiovascular disease. And therefore, this egg study is just junk. It's just propaganda put out there by the processed food industry. Well, vegan medical doctor Garth Davis responds and calls him out on the many things that are wrong with what Baker tried to do there. First of all, he says, this is not science. What Baker was doing is what's called a univariate analysis. That means it does not consider any other other factors. Uni, one thing. He's just looking at how many eggs per capita are consumed, not looking at any other factors. And Davis says, in science, we must use multivariate regression analysis, meaning that if we want to prove eggs cause heart disease or don't cause heart disease, we have to make sure the study population is held equal for other risk factors so that cholesterol is the only variable that could account for heart disease. So what might be some of these variables that Baker just wants to completely ignore that could account for the Japanese situation? Well, Dr. Garth points out, well, the Japanese, for instance, walk more than we do. They weigh less than we do, eat way less sugar, and have way more higher omega-3s than 6s. And while they may be eating way more than before, they still eat less meat than we do. And all these are independent risk factors for heart disease. So sure, the Japanese people may consume more eggs per capita than we do here in the United States and have less incidence of cardiovascular disease, but there are other dietary and lifestyle factors that influence heart disease. So you can't just look at one and say, oh, the egg study is debunked because they eat more eggs in Japan. And that's not the only just completely just bogus mistruth that Baker spoke here. He goes on this rant, as I read there earlier, trying to debunk this study on the grounds that it's industry funded by the process junk food industry. So instead of baseless accusation and speculation, which he claimed that you know the study and vegans are doing, it just takes a couple seconds to look at the study and see where the authors disclose their funding sources and conflicts of interest. 
And lo and behold, one of the researchers reported receiving consulting fees from Snicker bars. No, actually, it's from a bunch of pharmaceutical companies. Not much better, but far from being junk food. And if you look at sources of funding and support, you'll see places such as the American Heart Association, the National Institutes of Health, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and other medical and research-related institutions. So once again, Baker's wrong on this point, no surprise. But what I find most disingenuous about this accusation of industry-funded studies is that these guys will gladly refer to egg industry-funded studies to support their own beliefs. Case in point here, check out what Chris Kresser said when he was on the Joe Rogan podcast debating against Dr. Khan. There is no evidence that the consuming dietary cholesterol increases the risk of blood cholesterol in most people. So if you go to Chris's website and read this article here where he tries to debunk how cholesterol and saturated fat are not really all that bad for your heart and your health, he refers to the same study that he just cited on the Joe Rogan podcast debate, and you can look it up. And it clearly shows here that two of the researchers received funding from the American Egg Board. This is industry-funded studies, but I guess those are okay when they support your beliefs, huh? And another study that anti-vegans and pro-carnivore people often refer to to try to convince people that eating eggs is indeed really good for you is this one gem of a study here, which concludes that government dietary guidelines should be changed so that people are encouraged to eat even more eggs. However, if you look at the sources of funding for the study, it's completely clear that it is funded by the egg industry. So hopefully you guys see now what we're up against. It's a obvious misinformation war from anti-vegans trying to create doubt that, oh, eggs are good for you. And if they see a study that says eggs are bad, aha, it's industry funded when they're the hypocrites because their studies, the ones they support are industry funded. It's just a crazy world, a crazy time to be online and be a vegan right now. So hopefully these videos, like say for me, nutritionfacts.org and Mike the Vegan help you sort through all this, this overwhelming overload of information going on. So if that is the case hit like let me know down below and until next time oh yeah, but until next time our next video will not be about people quitting vegan or misinformation wars like this it's gonna be a vlog you'll see angie and i how we ate in a day as vegans and you know we're not passing out and and losing our hair and all that stuff that happens to some of these former recent vegans so watch that it should be out in a couple days until next time guys remember don't suck being vegan <laughs>